It is my uh, opportunity today to uh, talk to a longtime acquaintance of mine, a uh, like to consider a fellow pioneer in the electric vehicle world, uh, Shankar Dasgupta. Uh, Shankar is the CEO of Electrovia up in uh, that friendly, wonderful, even though it's occasionally cold country of Canada. Uh, Shankar, it is great to see you again, my friend. Bill, what a wonderful uh, to see you again, and thanks for reaching out. Well, you look I'm, as young as ever. Well, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> thank and you. the effects of global warming is on. We had the hottest September in Toronto. We are ho having the hottest October as well. Oh, wow. Amazing. Hey, you so, know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to take and pause this for one moment. My, I now have my parents living with us. Yes. They have a little schnauzer, and he's outside my door barking. So let me okay. let him in, okay. Okay? okay? I will be back in a second. Perfect. All right. Come on in. Get all your business done. Okay, good girl. Ah, we love her to death, but uh, <laughs> I was afraid this was going to happen. So. Yeah. It, uh, we, we used to have a little dog and, uh, of course he passed on. So, yeah. uh, now we've got it. We've got a dog again. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. so, so yeah, so let's go ahead and, uh, we'll pick it back up again. Uh, you, you, uh, uh, have been in this space now as a battery manufacturer for si since the Queen Mary, I think, isn't that what we met? <laughs> since the Queen Mary. And, uh, Bill, finally, 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 we, you know, uh, uh, you, us, we were all pioneers in the space and we, we are really glad to see now that the, now it's emerging, the market is emerging in a, in a, in a big way. In a big uh, way, yeah. right. Well, let's kind of backtrack and fill people in. Um, you know, you've been developing uh, lithium polymer batteries for, uh, for some time now through your company Electrovia. Uh, you've had various EV projects along the way, so sort of bring us up to speed on what's been happening with you guys yes. for the last couple of years. Yes, uh, last couple of years, especially last year, Bill, was very transformational for us. Uh, Electrovia, we had all kinds of interesting technology in lithium-ion batteries, and we had pioneered a lot of the great areas. One of the things which we were missing was a very beautiful fully automated production plant ah. and you need you need a lot of money to build a fully automated production plant and and we 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 were very uh, it was transformational for us we acquired in europe the largest uh, production plant in europe uh, based in uh, germany not too far from dresden or or uh, berlin Okay. And, and this plant was designed or was built to produce all the electric vehicle uh, batteries uh, or the, uh, for, for uh, the Mercedes electric vehicle program. Okay. And, and I think it, uh, there is, I, I suspect, about 20,000 Mercedes smart electric cars running with that, uh, from that plant, which I guess is now our plant. Now, the, what the plant does is manufactures... Uh, a very high quality um, anodes, cathodes, but more interestingly, a very unique ceramic separator. I was going to ask you about that. Go ahead. Yeah, and and that ceramics and so that ceramic separator is so unique. Uh, I think there's about two, three hundred patents uh, covering that ceramic separator. And when we purchased that, uh, acquired that plant, we also acquired the global exclusive rights in perpetuity to that ceramic separator. Ah, so okay. what, we are, what we are now doing is combining the Electrovia technology along with the German technology and early this year, early in 2016, uh, we sort of merged the two together, uh, you know, some of our technology, some of their technology uh, and, 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 and uh, because uh, there's a lot of technology in both sides and uh, we got at least the first half of it merged together and we started offering it to the OEMs and we offered it to five OEMs just to see how, how it works and Bill I was very pleasantly surprised 
that all these five OEMs took those products, tested it very intensively and after three, four months time, uh, after a lot of testing, they said, hey, re we really, really like it because of a couple of things. Uh, you, you're giving me higher safety than I'm seeing from anybody else. You're giving me higher uh, cycle life than okay. we are seeing from anybody else. So two very critical things. And so then they uh, audit our production facility, etc. And Bill, I'm really, really pleasantly surprised uh, presently uh, that of the five OEMs who are testing, all five of them now have signed either master service agreement with us or a, a strategic supplier agreement with us or a MOU with us or a LOI with us. So it was like uh, five out of five wins. Wow, now we've opened it great. up to a lot of other OEMs and, and, and we are finding terrific uh, uh, interest for, uh, for on the product. And now, because we have this massive German plant, we can deliver, uh, which earlier, we had a lot of interesting technologies. We could not deliver in, uh, we could deliver, but this, this is a highly instrumented plant highly automated plant, so the delivery is much wow, easier. That, yeah, that is tremendous progress since the last time we met then. That's yeah. amazing. Well, congratulations. So so are these are these OEMs, are they all focused in the automotive sector or some of them? Uh, they, they are they're focused on uh, two sectors. One is, we call it electromotive. Okay. And the reason is there is uh, the, the, the uh, uh, electromotive is a bigger sector yeah. A wider sector than, than just pure, pure electric cars, you know, for, for people going around. Right. And what is the other interesting thing is, uh, uh, the other interesting thing is because we think we have the best lithium-ion battery around and our OEM thinks it's, it is around, so the, the person who really needs us is the person who really needs a very, very good lithium-ion battery. And if you're running an electric car, you know, uh, my electric car, I, I probably drive it an hour, maybe hour and a half a day. It sits in the parking lot for yep. 22 and a half hours. Right. So, so what we said is that if you've got the best battery or the very good battery, let's take it to a guy who really needs it. So we went after the forklift sector. Ah, uh, yeah. We, we teamed up with, uh, uh, and, uh, with a company called Heister Yale. Yep who is now signed up with us uh, for a three-year master service agreement. And there, a forklift runs 22 hours a day. Right, yeah. Sits around for two hours a day while the driver is having you know, lunch, coffee, etc. So runs three shifts. So we like the forklift. It is, it is an electric vehicle, except yep. it's electric vehicle uh, inside a warehouse and running hugely, hugely. So that was a very big win on the uh, on the electromotive side. We have also announced with a European company uh, on the electric bus side. Again, an electric bus runs for 16 hours a day, needs tremendous amount of safety. We were absolutely horrified and uh, to see quite a bit of uh, bus fires in in, in Asia, and and um, you know car fires are bad, but bus fires are worse. Oh yeah. And, and um, lithium ion is a good technology, and I think our ceramic separator gives it an amazing, and you know, much higher improvement on the safety side. And the safety is becoming important because as newer energy density cells are coming in, you need a better quality separator. So, so that's uh, that, that is working out well, and and so so. Uh, then uh, we were also uh, announced, uh, I think, uh, two days ago that uh, we had earlier signed a MOU with a residential energy storage people, folks, and that now has gone into a uh, strategic supplier agreement and a supply agreement for, for uh, residential energy storage batteries. And Bill, I was very surprised, but the, these folks, they said, listen, we can buy... Uh, uh, from you um, uh, up to and they were talking about nearly 200 million euros which in Canadian dollars sounds much much bigger. <laughs> much, much bigger yeah <laughs> <laughs> Canadian dollars I think it's around 300 million uh, Canadian or something yeah anyway 
uh, it, 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 it's, it's big enough. So, so we are surprised, pleasantly surprised, but uh, the market is, is growing in residential energy and I think uh, our partner, he, he's European, he sells very strongly in Europe, but he also sells very strongly, I think, in, 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 in USA and elsewhere. All right. So, so you'll be able at some point then to announce who the who these various groups uh, you are. You know, uh, he. I'm. I'm hoping he's going to announce it soon. Yeah. Okay. All right. But but it's all signed. It's uh, he, he started uh, picking up the stuff, and again he did intensive tests on our batteries, and and what he loves is the cycle life. He loves the the um, the ceramic separator, and the reason we managed to get a cycle life is a nice uh, little trick. Uh, we have figured out, uh, again, it's all technology driven and uh, we have managed to reduce a lot of the parasitic reactions inside a cell. So that's, that, 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 that is good. And then the third group was, of course, the electric bus side. So we'll see how that picks right. up. Electric bus is still, uh, I, I would say, a very, very s um, small uh, um, market penetration in North America. But it's moving very strongly in Europe, and of course in China, it's just uh, it, you know moving fantastically right. well. So, so you've got so, but but that all being said, and that is great news. You've got some serious competitors out there. Of course, you got Panasonic, you know, and they're building in cooperation with Tesla this enormous battery plant. Uh, you got LG uh, out there providing the the Ford Motor Companies and the GMs of the world. So. So how do you guys compete against that? Uh, so I, 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 I see them as uh, friends because I, I see them uh, growing the market. And, and, and I think uh, Tesla is a marvelously fantastic company as is Panasonic, LG and Samsung. They're a terrific company. They're creating the market. And what we are doing is uh, coming into that same market they are creating and we are saying, listen, have a look at our product as well. We can uh, offer you uh, some interesting safety features, which uh, the others may not have it. And we can offer you some interesting cycle life features, much, much longer cycle life. Right. And so then, then of course, then the OEMs, the, uh, all our OEMs are global. And they, I'm sure... Uh, uh, look at every other product yeah and and uh, we are pleased that they're moving to us and but I think you know it's I, I don't see this as a competition I really see uh, I mean if Tesla succeeds we succeed right if Samsung succeeds we succeed so the Samsung's uh, huge recall which removed I think 50 or 22 billion dollars out of their uh, out of yeah. their uh, market cap uh, has been bad for us in the sense bad for the for the lithium ion community. Yeah. Uh, and and but uh, in a sense, people uh, the OEMs are very sensitive on safety. So if we through a ceramic separator gives a a little bit improved safety, they are moving towards us. Okay. So let us talk a little bit about about that then. What. Why is a ceramic separator better than the current, which basically, from the separators I've seen, is a specialized type of plastic? Um, how, how is yours uh, an improvement then? Uh, so, so the present uh, separator, the, the first generation separator had uh, was a polyolefin separator, a plastic polymer with tiny little holes in it. So then the next generation, uh, said let's put some ceramic coating on it. So that's really the separator all the uh, most of the people in the automotive and other industries are using a ceramic coated polyolefin separator. What we can, uh, our separator is is not a coating it is actually a ceramic separator okay. held together in some sort of fashion by, by polymers. So what happens is if you have a small short circuit for whatever reason, you know, manufacturing defects, somebody drops things, somebody crashes into some, some place, but if you've got a small short circuit, then there's a localized heating takes place. And in the ceramic separator, our separator does not shrink. It can withstand uh, higher uh, heat. 
higher temperature. Right. And with the polymer or the uh, ceramic coated polymer separator, which is the standard today, that shrinks. So uh -huh. if you had a small shot becomes a big shot. A bigger shot. A big shot is, is is not is unhealthy. So so and and with a small shot, of course, small shot decays very fast. So the heat production or the temperature goes down. But that within that first 10-15 seconds, that uh, that separator has to withstand withstand that uh, um, temperature incursion without shrinking and without making that small shot into a large shot. So okay. Uh, so, so I think that that gives you another incremental uh, and a very important uh, safety feature in a lithium-ion cell. Okay. Now you've also announced that you're doing a 48 volt battery, and I'm guessing that's probably for what a uh, stop-start uh, hybrid configuration. It, it, you know, uh, we we put together a 48 volt uh, lithium-ion battery. And it, it, it's going going to go into a wide range of products. So the way uh, Bill we are working is we are working through OEMs. It's faster. It gets our reach out to a lot more people, and and it's up to them where they can use it. Okay. And, I, 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 and 48 is a nice. Uh, it, it's a nice standard voltage. It, it's high enough that it can be used without going through all the high voltage regulations. Okay.